What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking on some TikTok cooking hacks we've seen. And especially now that we're quarantined, this is a good time to use them because we can use the little ingredients we have and make something creative and delicious. So we're going to head to the grocery store, pick up some things that we don't have already, and we'll see you guys when we get there. What's up guys? We are here at Walmart to grab the stuff that we need. Right now we've got some marshmallows and some hazelnut spread so we don't have Nutella. And they don't even have Nutella, so on to the next uh, chips and chips, mozzarella cheese. Sticks. Right, bring we got a cart filled of things, some stuff for us personally and some stuff for you guys. We are back home, time to start cooking. We have all the ingredients right here. I have my bread, Cheetos, Doritos, marshmallows, Oreos, strawberries, chocolate, more chocolate, shrimp cheese, and cereal. Let's see what we can create. If you guys are excited to start these cooking hacks, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. <laughs> and let's get right into it. First, we're gonna do some mozzarella sticks. So you're gonna take your mozzarella sticks and lay them out. You're gonna fill a bowl with flour, bowl with egg. Oh. And for this, we're actually gonna make one flaming hot Cheetos flavor, and one Doritos nacho cheese flavor. And of course, you gotta have your breadcrumbs for that extra crispiness. So we're gonna do eight mozzarella sticks, but we only open four. What we're gonna do is open them out and cut them in half. So now that we have our four mouse roll sticks, we're actually gonna even it out and cut it in half. And we're gonna make some smaller bits. And that's it. Now, I need you guys to crush this up real good. To our flour, I'm just gonna add a little bit of seasoning and that's it. Some salt and pepper. These things have been crushed really well. We put it in to our bowls. And this is where you add a little bit of breadcrumbs. Just to help it stick a little bit. Not a lot. Now we're gonna preheat our oil. Put it on high for now, and we're gonna wait. All right, first we're gonna start off with putting a little flour on our mozzarella sticks, putting a little egg. Whoa, flour again, egg again, because you need an extra crust, and then flour, a little bit. And for this one, it's gonna be the hot Cheetos. So make sure you coat that really well. And bam. Alright, they're ready for the fryer right now. They look so good already. You just want to create that nice crust. See? These smell amazing and they look so amazing. Now, it's time to get into to see how the cheesiness works. Oh man, that looks so good. <laughs> mm. Do you guys want some? Yeah. 
Mmm. Oh, that is so good. Mm. This is good. Mm. Someone's already started digging in. Here's one for you and one for you. How is it? So cheesy, right? Take a bite, take a bite. I'm just so chill. Bite. Oh. It's so cheesy. It's hot. These, these were a definite success for us, especially for them. Easy snack to make, guys. Easy snack. Woo! Those mozzarella sticks are so good. Now on to the next one. Fruit Loop. Where's my marshmallows? <laughs> Rice Crispy Treats. Only two ingredients and a microwave and that's really it. Simple to make and a good snack for the kids and yourself if you have a sweet tooth like me. To a bowl, we're gonna add roughly about two cups of marshmallows. Stick in the microwave. We're gonna melt it for a minute. All right, after like 30 seconds, it's gonna start to expand and you're gonna want this consistency. <laughs> we're gonna mix it up, make sure we get that nice fluff. See that? Roughly a cup. And you wanna incorporate all this in there. so good already and you're just gonna transfer this to a little pan so you guys can use a square container or whatever shape you want this one has a nice deep groove okay we didn't make a lot so we're gonna make a circular shape with ours all you gotta do is transfer it out there Whoa. Guys, this is what we had <laughs> as our final product. We didn't get the shape quite right, but it's here. All you have to do is cut and serve when it gets a little cooler. Right now it's still a little hot, so it's gonna be extra sticky, but when it cools down, just cut it and share it. So once it's cool, all you do is cut into it. Maybe you guys will have better luck with a better shape than me. But, oops, it's not cooled completely. But you should have a nice treat to eat. Now let's just see how it tastes. And the bottom looks pretty better. Mmm. <laughs> so good. Feels like I'm a kid every day. This is another successful cooking hack. Alright, those rice crispy treats were definitely a treat. Time for something else sweet. Oh, I can run. No, you can oh. <laughs> Which one am I doing? Oreo cupcakes. Oh, Oreo mug Oreo cakes. cakes. Cake Whatever. There are Oreos go. Yeah. So let's get more. Let's grab like five Oreos. And then we're gonna add, we're gonna add the milk. Oh, milk. Alright, you gotta tell me one. Just yeah. halfway. So yeah. For you, and then the for you. Yeah. Alright, and then now you squish. Guys, gotta crush it up. Show them. Yeah. Just gotta go in. Got it? You guys want a consistency like this if you plan on doing this? I wanna see. All chocolate. Mine is so chocolatey. Ah. So we're gonna put it in for 75 oh, seconds. Yeah. 70. <coughs> Alright, 75 seconds. Your head. Mm. Alright, wow. Look at your Oreo cake. Ooh, looks good. Make it the tree. It's chocolatey. It's chocolatey? Oreo-y? Mm -hmm. This is like, this is like. The Those Oreo cakes were so good. Time to make some chocolate covered strawberries, sweet dessert, a little healthy. <laughs> and.
and only two ingredients. We bought slow chocolate mix from Walmart. All you gotta do is microwave it, dip your chocolate in there, freeze it. <laughs> then you just have some good, easy dessert and the roommate. <laughs> all right, strawberries are all washed. And time to heat up our chocolate. You're gonna help me? Mm-hmm. Two. It says to stir every 30 seconds, so. The chocolate's all heated up. Look at that. And now? Strawberries are washed. Mm-hmm. Use a baby fork, unless you guys have skewers. Let me just. Stab it in there. And, and place it on your pan. And that's it. So good already. Intense concentration. Oh, it looks so amazing already. Look at that, guys. Just gonna put it to cool for a couple seconds. Oh, not seconds, a couple minutes. And then we're gonna eat. Wow, they look so amazing. They've been cooled. Some of them aren't like a fully. A fully? What did I just say? <laughs> Some of them aren't fully cooled. <laughs> but this one is pretty cool. I'm not a big fan. Oh, how good you? Thanks. I picked them myself. They're so good? No. They need to cool a little bit more. Alright. So that was another successful cooking hack. Now on to the last one. So Nutella, well he's a nut chocolate and the bread. So right. they say to cut the crust, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in with the Nutella. It says to put some right in the center. It's kind of thick, so I'm gonna put a little bit of it in there. Alright. I think I should put more? No, I think it's fine. Then we're gonna do that, and then they're kind of gotta make it like a pocket. Oh, Nutella pocket. Yep. Chocolate hot pockets. So this is how we need a pocket, and then we're gonna put it in the toaster. How long? Like two minutes? Yeah. It's done. It's done. Take it out. Mm. All right. And. Yep. Let's try it. Oh, that crunch. It's good. Mm -hmm. I need some more chocolate. All right, guys. If you enjoyed that video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what I should be trying next, what cooking hacks you guys have for me. Anything crazy, I don't care. I'll eat it. <laughs> don't forget to wash your hands. Don't touch your face. And stay safe, guys. <laughs>